good. Thank you. Thank you. That means all the better. Quit drinking the kids. Quit drinking the kids.
I think it's interesting. It's like a movie. Are you from from a TV station? Um, no. <laughs> but I just came to see what was going on. Ah. Well, I'm a psychiatrist. I think it's interesting. What do you think of all of the psychiatrists putting kids on drugs? I think it's appropriate when necessary. There's four million kids on Ritalin right now. How many do you think should be on Ritalin? I'm not prepared to discuss you go case by case. Do you think 10 million is enough? I'm not prepared to comment. How about Prozac? I'm not prepared to comment. Major antidepressants for kids. What do you think of that? He said he's not prepared to comment. <laughs> Are you a psychiatrist? No, I'm not. I'm not. Oh, what do you think of uh, this going on? Well, I think that what we really need is good research, you know, to really settle the issue. I mean, there's evidence that medication actually may help the brain and put the biochemistry back in line rather than damage it. So, uh, do you know there's four million children on Ritalin in America right now? Yeah, I know. They plan to have 10 million on Ritalin. Have you heard of that? That's the APA's goal. Yeah, okay, but the... Uh, How many is enough? But that's not the issue. The issue is what happens to those children if they don't get help? Do you know what Ritalin is? It's speed. It's a stimulant. It has a lot of very serious side effects. I know it has side effects, but... When you put a child on a, on a drug when they're young, I mean, they can warp their whole sense of... Of life. My knowledge about it is somewhat limited. And every researchers are trying desperately to find better ways to help people without having any negative side effects. What about Harris, the kid that blew up the school in Columbine? He was on psychiatric drugs, seeing a psychiatrist. Anyway, I, I gave you my opinion. I, I understand what you're saying. I sympathize with your position, and we all do. But it's not, you know, um, it's not like psychiatrists are like evil. You know what I mean? They're trying to do as much as they can to help you. Well, they destroyed my cousin with electric shock treatments and various drugs. I know there are a lot of abuses of psychiatry. You know? I know there are a lot of abuses, but there are things, they're trying to make changes so that things are not as well. Yeah, they turned him into a total vegetable. Lives in a half a Psychiatrist? What do you think of this? I don't know. I'm just seeing it. Just, just it. Where are you from? Denmark. Are they putting as many kids on drugs there as they do in America? You cannot do it without the, the will themselves. You cannot give them medicine without their own, their own will. I don't know. In America, the psychiatrists have put four million children on drugs. Against their will? Well, a child has no say in many cases. The psychiatrist subscribes it and convinces the parent because he's supposed to be an authority. Suddenly the kid's taking drugs and he's living a drugged life. It doesn't sound uh, very nice for me. No, and they have half a million kids on heavy antidepressants like Zoloft, Prozac. Yeah. They even make Prozac peppermint flavored. Have you heard of that? Yes. Do you believe in that? Do you believe they should be doing that? That's so many, I think. It's too, it's too much. Harris, one of the kids, they went in with the gun and shot the kids at Littletown? He was on psychiatric drugs. Yeah. I mean, it it causes hostility. And, and So in your country, I mean, fight against it. Do what's right for the kids. Are you a psychiatrist, sir? I ought to be. I'm a psychoanalyst and a child psychiatrist. What do you? What do you think of this? What do you? Well, I'm just getting some opinions. Man on the street interviews. Well, I think that some of it is uh, is overdrawn. I don't. I think a lot of people came here just because they wanted to have a good time. I've had a couple of my own patients who love this kind of thing. They'll mm -hmm. go. They'll go to any kind of organization and. Mm -hmm. And uh, they just are having a great time. You know, there's four million children on Ritalin in America right now. Yeah, I didn't know that there were four million of them. 
Yeah, you four million. Have all the facts. Well, there's half a million on heavy antidepressants like Prozac and Zoloft. How many are in psychoanalysis? Uh, that's it. They don't do that much anymore. Have you found out? They drug them. You drug it to us. Oh, yeah. Nowadays, most of your colleagues will just drug them. So, what do you think of this? Well, what? The demonstration. Yeah, you want to I don't know. The demonstration is all about. You don't know? No. You're from Korea? Yeah. Drugging well, the cash is drugging for children. Are you sub prescribing drugs for children yeah. in Korea? Yeah. yeah. You're putting kids on Ritalin? Yeah. This is nonsense. Shame on you. Sir, could I ask you a couple questions? Well, what do you think of the demonstration this morning? I, I am a husband of a psychiatric. Oh. <laughs> so how is that? In Italy. In Italy? Uh, and so your uh, wife's a and, psychiatrist? And she uh, normal, uh, use uh, drugs. Uh, I don't know. I am a gynecologist. We oh. don't know uh, what uh, you want to see, uh, to, to know about uh, drugs. Does she use her psychiatry on you at home? In Italy, yes. No, but does she use it with you in, in the home? No, no, with me. Yeah, no, with no, you. No, 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 no. No? I, 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 she doesn't psychoanalyze no, you? No. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> what do you think of the demonstration this afternoon? Demonstration against no psychiatry. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Without what, me, please. Yeah. What country are you from? Czech Republic. Czech Republic? Czech Republic, yes. So, are they putting children on Ritalin and things like that in the Czech Republic? Uh, please ask Dr. Nocturinic. What, what do you want? Are they putting the children on Ritalin and Prozac and things like that in the yes, Czech Republic? Yes, of course, with everything. They are? Yeah. That's yeah. too bad. Um, more, uh, more little than in the U.S. More? Little. Littlers. Little. Littlers. Child has, a, has a, uh, the, the, some uh, minimal damage in brain and after that the, the, the child has a problem with a behavior. Right. Do you, do you think a person is a brain? Without, without drugs. Can I ask you a question? Do you think man's a spirit or a brain? Spirit or brain? Yeah. Does a spirit exist? Uh, it's, uh, I, I'm a materialist, materialist uh -huh. and I think that it's connected together. So do you think there is a spirit? Or yeah. Okay. And what happens after a person dies? Uh, how many, how many per, per, percent? What when a person see? dies, what happens to? Nothing. After uh, no good. No good. zero, zero. Nothing. He's gone. Worms eat him and that's it. But, yeah. uh, <laughs>
Putting children on drugs in India at this time? It is not a matter of drugs. Even in India, they practice psychiatry and they definitely use medication. That's too bad. In America, they're trying to drug all the kids. <laughs> all, the, all the kids? They have four million on Ritalin and half a million on antidepressants like Zoloft, Prozac. They want to have 10 million in the next few years. They push it in our schools. Yeah. So don't do it. Don't drug your kids. Don't drug the Indian kids. They deserve better. No. I guess that's no. These these teachers really controversies and treatments. <laughs> she didn't love me, so I dropped her and I had, I had my way with her. <laughs> you feel bad, so just hang on a minute and you won't feel anything.